last year that they did that. Oh, was it? Yeah. yeah. It's a nice tradition, I think. It too. is, yeah. Might as well. I mean, it comes and goes so fast. Yeah. Everybody, uh, you have a chance to be together because that right. night it's... That's right. beside in the cluster of, of writers. And yeah. None of us spoke to each other. None of us knew who the other one was. Yeah. Writers so rarely know each other. Yeah. I remember you getting up there. It was really neat. Nice. Got speed? Yeah. Well, Ernest Thompson, welcome to Dallas. Thank you. I nice never thought I'd have the opportunity to meet you. I've interviewed Jane Fonda many times, Mr. Fonda, time or two, Catherine Hepburn, not interviewed her, <laughs> met her. <laughs> She's a tough one to interview. Yeah. Right. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you here. Pleasure's mine. The, uh, it was uh, just about a year ago this time that you were getting butterflies about uh, you were already nominated for On Golden Pond and uh, awaiting the big night. Did it come as an enormous surprise to you or did you think you had a pretty good shot at it? Winning? Mm -hmm. um, logic said that I had a shot. Uh, as it got closer to the event, uh, it became less likely to me. And during the actual evening, I was convinced that there was no way I was going to win. So by the time he finally said my name, then it was a shock all over again. Who did you think would win? Um, as we got closer, I thought Pinter would win for French Lieutenant's Woman. Yes. But, you, of course, you were quite sure that Mr. Fonda would win. Yeah, I thought if there was anything like justice in the world, Henry would win. It long, long overdue. Yeah. You did get to spend some time uh, when they were shooting the film. Do you have a favorite recollection of Henry Fonda? Um, I have so many recollections. First of all, Henry was very much like my father, who had died only a couple of years before that. And there was a lot of my father in that role. So it was, I think, particularly special to me that Henry was doing it. Um, but what I remember most was his tremendous energy. He wasn't particularly well at the time, but you couldn't tell from his behavior because he would get up at 6 o'clock and go to location. and. Uh, it was rare that he didn't come up to me on any day that we ran into each other and say, Ernest, I get up every morning and thank God I got to live to play this role, which of course is all a writer ever wants to hear. And um, he would work hard. He would have lunch, um, whereas Kate Hepburn would eat lunch alone in her bungalow. Henry would be in line with the crew and uh, eat in the tent with everybody else work all day until 7 o'clock, and then go fishing. And uh, I can remember one night his wife called me uh, because we all rented houses around the lake, and I was sort of around the point from them. And uh, Shirley, his wife, called uh, about 9, 30, 10 o'clock at night and asked if I'd go down in his dock, on my dock, and see if I could find Henry because he had, was lost at sea somewhere with his son-in-law. Wonderful, wonderful memories. You are now doing a, a movie with Katherine Hepburn, aren't you? Yeah, I'm, we're just about to go into pre-production on um, a movie of The West Side Waltz, which was my last play, which Miss Hepburn did on Broadway. And we'll film it in September in New York. Will it be quite true to the play? Um, yeah, it'll be the same story. The wonderful thing about having another opportunity is you get to enhance and tell it from a different point of view. And so that's what I'll do. I'll, as the lake became a character in On Golden Pond, so does the city and the West Side Waltz, because it takes place in the west side of New York. When you put them side by side, Mr. Thompson, uh, the play On Golden Pond and the screen, the movie On Golden Pond, can you pick one over the other? Do you mean in terms of my preference? Mm -hmm. No. Um, I forget which is which sometimes, and when I go, which is unusual now because I'm pretty well saturated, when I do go and see a production of On Golden Pond, and they don't say a line that's in the movie, I think, wait a minute, there's something wrong here. And then, then I'll go and see the movie again, or it'll be on cable, and, and I'll say, wait a minute, and then uh, I'll remember that it's from the play. But you have to remember that On Golden Pond was really my firstborn, and uh, nothing will ever compete with the emotional attachment that I have to it. Now that you're an Oscar winner and all, I guess, uh, you know, the, the world is yours, huh? <laughs> Half the world. Is. 
You are also mounting a project with Jack Lemmon. Yeah, I'm very excited about that. What is that? It's called A Sense of Humor, and Estelle Parsons is playing his wife. Um, the similarities to On Golden Pond um, aren't many, except for the triangular family again. It's father, mother, and daughter, except that in this case, the daughter, six months previous, has committed suicide uh, at the age of 25. And it's a play about um, going on, about trying to get life back on track after someone has died. I wrote it um, shortly after my father died, and, and even though our relationship was very much like uh, Jane and Henry's in the movie, we weren't as close as I wish we could have been, um, I was very shaken by his death. And um, Was it a natural death? No, it was, <laughs> it was an unnatural death. It was one of those awful eight-month-long cancer deaths. And uh, we did have a lot of coming together during that time, but I discovered I had no capacity for dealing with his death. And um, I wasn't devastated, but I was certainly slowed down and, and deeply moved. And uh, I started reading a lot about what happens, how we deal with someone else's death. And there are no answers. Nobody knows if there was a solution or a formula to follow. We all would, and we'd be fine, and we'd say goodbye, and that would be that. But um, I've just written a story about a couple who are just like the rest of us, who are groping to find their way and to regain their sense of humor in life. I think one of the extraordinary things about On Golden Pond is that you were what age when you wrote that? 28. 28. And you, you show su such depth of understanding of people in their final years, in their elderly years. So do I assume then that this was just close observation of your parents? Yeah, my, my father was uh, 40 years older than I, so I think I had some of that double generation gap. But um, um, I think that good writing is um, always autobiographical in some way, and uh, mostly that old man, Norman Thayer, is me. Mostly it's my fear of death or life or communication. Um, I like to think that I'm growing and that each character I write is a little further advanced from the one before it, but uh, then where I was um, five years ago when I wrote On Golden Pond, uh, <clears throat> I wasn't walking around thinking I was going to drop dead, but I think because I wasn't living life as fully and as um, um, satisfyingly as I would like to, uh, would have liked to have been, then uh, I wrote that kind of piece. I wrote a piece about a man who is not totally there and not totally living life. And uh, the story of the play was meant to be, let's live life until it's over. And uh, among many other things that happen in that piece, the old man, the Henry Fonda character, reaches that point of where he can uh, live life a little bit more. Well, I think that um, maybe a good exercise for you would be, Mr. Thompson, to write one about a very successful, very handsome, very talented young man, and you could be the role model for that. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much for coming to Dallas, and thank you very much for granting this interview. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> just hold it just a second. Three yeah. theaters in that right. complex, and one is the Dorothy Chandler, where the Oscars are, and the other, across it, is the Amundsen, which is where I was then performing with a play in a play with Gene Stapleton. And uh, I was just off the bus, too, from New York, and uh, I drove down for our opening night, which was in April of the complex, and there were thousands of limousines and arc lights and uh, you know, those spotlights and, and reporters, and I thought, wow, this is the, the Oscars were going on at the other theater. Oh, oh. And about nine people came to see our play. <laughs> but... Um, it's funny. It's a funny thing, the Oscar show. Uh, it's boring, you know. It's all get out. I don't. Uh... Did you think you had a good chance to win the Oscar last year? Who did you think would win? If you weren't going to win the Oscar last year for screenplay, who did you think would win?
is your favorite recollection of Henry Fonda? When you think back about Henry Fonda, what are some of the things you remember? Did you base Henry did you base Norman Thayer on someone you knew? Writers are supposed to be writing from their own experiences. In what way was On Golden Pond based on your own experiences? How was On Golden Pond based on your own experiences? You're currently working on a project that will star Katherine Hepburn. What is the project you're working on with Katherine Hepburn now? You're working with Jack Lemmon. What is that all about? What is the play you're mounting with Jack Lemmon? Okay, um, okay. Was it a natural death? Now that you're the big successful writer, Oscar winner, the world is yours. <laughs> that should do it, don't you think, Bob? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Your hair is beautiful, by the way. Oh, thank you. <laughs> 